isn't it that I lay Aprathi Kun Devadavi and Kajumbalar Princess Vanati got into the chariot and went towards Kudan the city? After that we need to know a little about what the women in the boat said and did. Come on, Tarakai. Praise the yoga that has come to this Kajumbalar Kari. Why is our youngest brother so eager for her? Said one. No desire, nothing, Warani. For four months the girl has been in a state of convulsions. She often faints and passes out. Young Prati is worried that we have entrusted a fatherless girl to us. That is why he has taken the soothsayer to ask what has become of Vanati. Perhaps it is the prank of some ghost or devil. Isn't it? If that's the case, you have to cast some kind of magic and drive, right? Said Tarakai. No ghost, no devil. What devil is going to come and get her? Will she beat a hundred devils and drive them away? Said Varanai. Vanati even pretends to faint. Her idea is that if she does all this, she can slowly ensnare the prince. Said another. Nervati is right. Is that all? Did she drop the lamp plate that day? That was also done to make him notice her. Will the plate that she was carrying with both hands slip and fall like that? Or is our prince a tiger or a bear that she should be afraid of him? Said Varanai. Did you just faint and pretend to fall? How badass is that? Said Naravati. Kundavadavi and the prince were more fooled by that jalam than by her jalam, that was the greatest fun. Said Chandru. This is the time for those who lie and deceive and deceive. Said Mandakini. After leaving for war, the prince came back and saw this goddess, what more? See how far her magic has gone. Said Varanai. That's nothing, the prince is of such a noble character. If a woman faints and falls, why don't you go and inquire after her? Don't you make any sense out of it? Said Tarakai. It is true what you say of the prince. Who else in this world of seventeen and fourteen can be so good? Not even in stories and epics, but I say otherwise. She this Vanati has fallen into a trance, do you know what trance it is? You need not have gone to an astrologer to hear that. If I had asked, I would have told myself. Said Varanai. What's that gibberish? I told you. Sentru said. Varanai said something to Chandru's ear. Why did she tell you a secret? Shouldn't we know? Asked Naravati. That's no ordinary fainting. My alting fainting. Sentru said. Immediately everyone laughed uproariously. Hearing that, the birds in the trees on the banks of the river flapped their wings and flew away. If our prince returns from Sri Lanka, she will try to use magic powder again. We must be careful not to allow it. Naravati said. Unless this Vanati starts going mad before the prince returns, my name will not be Tarakai, I will change my name to Tadakai. Said Tarakai. Mandakini said, that is Kitakatumadai. Shouldn't you do what Ilya Prati said and do before he comes? Wanga lady. Then two of the women moved a plank that had already moved a little under the boat. A crocodile was lying in a hole shaped like a long box at the transfer site. That is, a toy crocodile made from the body of a dead crocodile and stuffed with fluff and fiber. They took it and kept it outside. Pushing the boat for a short distance, they came to a tree on the bank of the river with huge roots growing out of it. They took the athol crocodile from the side of the tree. It was lying half in the tree roots and half in the river flood. It looked as scary as a real crocodile. They tied a small bell rope to one of its legs and tied it to the root to prevent it from being swept away by the flood. They tied the rope so that it was hidden in the water so that it could not be seen outside. What, Mandakini? Why did Ilya Prati tell you to tie this toy crocodile under a tree like this? Tara asked. Don't you know? Vanati is very scared isn't she? To make her brave said Mandakini. All things considered, it seems Kuntavai Devi intends to marry off Vanati to the prince. Said Naravati. If there is any talk like that I will poison this Vanati and kill him. Watch out! Said the jealous Varanai. 
there is no reason for you to be so irritated. The king of Mani Yakidathu, the dual region, the king of Venji, the king of Kalinga, and even the king of Kanasi, far to the north, are waiting to give our prince a wife. Then who is going to aspire to this Kajum Balarvanati? said Mandakini. Those kings can't wait as you say. But isn't it the will of our prince that matters? The prince has been saying if I ever get married, I will marry a girl from Tamil Nadu. Don't you all know this? Sentru said. Well done then. Do we all have to show our skills individually? Can't we do what this Vanati can do? We don't have the magic powder she has, do we? Said Tarakai. Now we would like to tell the people what is the proof of these women's talk.